What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. As always, this is Gregor Outdoors. Uh, if you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn from red to gray, turn on those bell notifications so you guys don't ever miss an upload. Uh, I'm starting a new video series. This series is going to be about uh, the most common uh, setups that I use uh, from slip cork uh, fishing for crappie to drop shot fishing to tying palomar knots. I'm a new angler. Uh, I'm new to bass fishing and new to uh, doing all of this stuff. So if there's any way that I can help you guys, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that through this series. So I hope you guys like it. Today's video is going to be about how to set up a slip bobber or slip cork system for crappie fishing to uh, maximize depth and stuff like that. Um, really all you're going to use is a slip cork or slip bobber, uh, a bobber stop that you can get off of Amazon. Uh, this little bead that comes with it and a number six eagle claw hook uh, That you can get at Walmart or any other, you know bait shop um, But we'll go into it. I have it rigged up on my ACC Crappie sticks I have it, all of this rigged up on an ACC crappie stick. It is a five foot one um, It's paired with a Daiwa Revos uh, 2000 series light reel um, I, I think this combo with the ACC crappie sticks is amazing, especially for casting and stuff like that. So uh, we'll get into it. I'll show you guys how to do this. Uh, if you have any questions, leave your comments down below. I'll try to answer them as best as possible. But like I said, this is a simple way to maximize uh, your ability to catch more crappie throughout the, the spring and throughout the spawn when they move up shallow. So you can set your depths and stuff like that with this, this slip cork. So we'll get into it. I'll show you guys how to rig this up. Stay tuned. So I got my line here. It's a six pound fluorocarbon leader attached to a 10 pound braid. Um, and I find that, that this is the, the best way to, uh, to rig my setup. Um, with the slip cork, all you're going to do is get your, your line and put it through this little bobber stop tube here, like that. Slide it through so you get to the other end. And all you're going to do is just slide this off like that. Hold on to it. And then you can... Pull this tight. Get this nice and tight. Now, at this point, you can slide this this piece uh, wherever you want, up and down your your line to whatever fits you. Um, you're then gonna put your bead on. What this bead does is stop your cork from going past this this point here, this tie here. It's gonna stop your cork from going past that. Uh, once you set your depth and find out what, what depth your, your fish are, are staying at. So now, once we're gonna slide this down a little bit more, we got our bead there. We're gonna put your cork on next from the top. Your line through pull it up and like I said you'll get it so that this bobber will slide but then when you hit that bead and you hit that bobber stop it doesn't slide anywhere it doesn't slide any anymore past that so then I'm gonna get my number number six eagle claw hook get my number six eagle claw hook and all I'm gonna do is tie a palomar knot so what I'm going to do is send it through. And pull that nice and tight. Cut off your tag end. And then here is your slip bobber setup. Like I said, it can slide down to wherever you need it to stop at. It stops here, comes all the way back down to your, your hook here. And I also like to put on a, a split shot weight 
and I like to put it anywhere from you know six six to eight inches wherever you need it um, I like to give it uh, a, a, a good distance that way when you get your minnow on here your minnow is allowed to, to move around and swim freely without having that weight I mean you could rig it so that it's you can rig it so that it's sitting right here where the weight is, where the hook is at, but I think having having your split shot a little bit further up your line allows that minnow to move around a little bit more naturally, so. All right, folks, so like I showed you guys, here is my slip cork setup. Like I said, it, it'll move up and down. You can set this, this little tie, this bobber stop to whatever depth you need to once you figure out where the crappie are staying at. And then uh, all you want to do at the end here is just kind of cut these tag ends off so you're not getting caught up in your reel. You cut those off and like I said, you can move this up and down your, your line length to get whatever depth the, the fish are staying at. But this is a great, w this is a great way um, to kind of figure out where these fish are being suspended at, uh, especially during the spawn and in the, in the spring and even after the spawn, post spawn when they move back offshore. But this is a great way to uh, get you to catch more crappie throughout the year. It's super simple. All you're doing is putting a bobber stop on, putting your bead on, putting your slip cork, putting a, uh, a split shot weight on and then tying um, a number six eagle claw hook here. Uh, and that's really all there is to it. Uh, if you have any questions, make sure you leave a comment down below. Hit that thumbs up on this video. Um, and uh, I'll link everything down below in the description of the bobber stops. Uh, the, they come in a package of 40. You can get on Amazon. It comes with the bead. And then you can get the slip corks off of Amazon. I got those there too. So uh, everything that you see here, I'll, I'll link down below in the description. I'll link ACC crappie sticks as well. And I'll even put the, the link to this, this reel. Um, I love the ACC crappie sticks. I use them uh, primarily for crappie fishing because I think it's got the best sensitivity overall and um, just the waveguide system that American Tackle has on here is, is excellent. But I hope you guys liked the video. Stay tuned. Like I said, we'll go over how to tie a drop shot, how to tie a Palomar knot, um, the things that I use the most uh, while I'm fishing. Like I said, I'm new to all of this, hope, hopefully I can help you guys catch more fish and if not, become a little bit more knowledgeable uh, as I become more knowledgeable as well. But like I said, I hope you guys liked the video. Until next time, we'll see you later.